We are here in downtown St. Louis outside of the Keener garages, which offer a very nice and convenient parking in downtown. These garages were built in the 1960s and originally had Westinghouse elevators. However, in 1990, Long Elevator came and modernized all eight of them. And then about 2012 or so, four elevators out of all the eight got a mod. And this was kind of interesting because all they did was replace the car panels and some of them got a replaced cab. That meant that two out of the four elevators in each garage were still long and the other two were modernized. However, the controller and the motor were still original on the modded ones. And now within the past two years, all of the elevators in these garages have been modernized. Schindler modernized the East Garage and Advanced Elevator modernized the West. So let's go check out these newly modernized elevators. We'll start the tour with the West Garage. Now these were modernized by Advanced Elevator. In order to gain access to the garage, you have to park in here. So scanning your ticket opens the door and you can get in to ride the elevators. This first set is cars three and four, which are in the center of the garage. These were the two that were left original from the 2012 mod. These now have MCE controllers, Hollister Whitney motors, and innovation buttons. And now to the other bank of elevators in the West Garage on the quarter of 7th and Pine. These were the two elevators that received the weird mod for this garage. Upon entering, well, we can see here that the first elevator is flashing OS and is just sitting here open. But you can see they have received new buttons as well in the correct color scheme, the orange and green. So it looks like we only get to ride one of these two elevators. So I ended up standing here for a little bit and after it sitting going up on one for a while, I decided to go up there and see what was going on. I went up and the elevator was just sitting there open. 
I took the elevator all the way to the top floor and then brought it back down to the street where it then corrected itself, so my guess is that was some sort of controller glitch. But let's ride this elevator. So we came up here to 6 because we can actually cross over to the other garage, but real quick, some little bit of retail history for downtown St. Louis is kind of preserved here on this map. You can see the old Dillard, St. Louis Center, and the Macy's, which is kind of cool. Also on this floor, you can see the old walkway, or well, where it used to be, that went over to the Macy's garage. And now we'll head over to the East Garage by using the walkway that connects the two together. Now in this garage, all of the elevators are right next to each other. They're not separated like on the West Garage. These were modernized by Schindler about a year ago. For some reason, the top floor is locked on all of these. Floor 7. Floor 7. Floor 8. 
Sure is. Floor seven. So I tried getting car one to come down and it refused to go. So I went up to three, I found it, but I think it was broken. So I guess we don't get to ride car number one, but it's basically the same as the others. So that's it for this tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.